Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Disciples Liberation. We are exploring this uh, this tomb and we've taken out uh, one of the wandering monsters already. Had to pop out for some healing but uh, I did that in between the episodes so we're all, all fresh and ready to go. And there is a treasure chest right there, there's some gold right there. Let's mostly do it as a... I want the treasure chest. Mostly do it as a left wall hug I was going to say but... Give me those leather boots. Right, let's have a look at those. Dexterity and divine resistance. I prefer the critical chance, although we're not really constantly smacking people up close. Being a hex blade, you know, it, uh, it means you're not, not at the forefront of combat anymore. What sort of unholy convocation is this? Did we miss the invite? Oh wow, yeah, there's a, a proper thing up there, okay. Well, that looks like it's gonna be a manageable combat. Loot the room first. On the door, you see a strange indentation in the stone. It's some kind of locking mechanism. All right, I guess we uh, kill these guys and uh, and open up the back door. Follow the sound of humming to the undead. They seem entranced and do not notice you. It looks like they're worshipping something, but I can't see what. You want to get closer? Let's get closer. I want to see what has their attention. You step closer, disturbing the dust beneath your feet almost imperceptibly. But then one creature snaps her head around and another. Oh, good. Initiate, Spectre, Zombies, and it's a Necromancer at the back row. What do you do on the back line? Strength of the Dead. Okay. That's not an amazing ability. Or it's really quite a good ability. I don't know. Oh, that's a cool ability. And Bone Storm and Bone Spike. I want, I want tier three necromancers. Luckily, it's on the back line, so we don't really have to worry about it. All right. So zombies, specters. Lend me your deaths. If we step in here and stab this one, you can come across and do rampant growth across there. I like the way this feels like it's going to go. Me? You mess with me. Let's move. So rampant growth down here, hit both Die. of them. Slightly more than just doing a burning hit on both. That was a really big hit. And that's the Necromancer's ability kicking in. Uh, we're going to paralyze you. Let's come in there to do it. So the other one can't get through. Up top. Uh, you're going to take that orb, aren't you? I do not like that, but I don't know if we can stop it. Let's just wait. I oh, know. You stepped in this way. Well, more fool you. That's what I say. Because Ori's going to take it. You will be purged. Come on, Corisandra. You can do better than that. 196. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that's 160 or 188. Dark Father, be with me. You didn't die. I disagree. Oh, 
We'll get to you in a moment. Be patient. Actually, we'll get to you right now. Now you see me. Feel the snake's bite. Move out. Down. Very nice. Put that poison in. Nice little eviscerate going on there. Let's get a hit and some healing. Heal of the High Father should take care of that. Or maybe it'll do this one. Either way, we're not that worried about the damage that's coming out to us. You will be purged. You dare face me. Ooh, almost got it. With grace and rage. You can kill the one up here, actually. Let's step you in and do that. Unholy strength on yourself. That's a little selfish, isn't it? Now you see me? Feel my blade bite! It's not gonna help. You are going down very quickly. Moving. Especially yeah. if I hit you at range. Meet Burning your... verdict. Uh you can't really do much. Hey. Well, right of reply, mace strike. Down they go. Level 16. Uh, we need to head back so we can train up people that haven't followed suit with our experience. As the dust settles from the battle, you see what had the attention of the hordes. It's just a book. Strange. Before you, a book. The sheets of the Compendium bristle as you approach. The spine aches and relaxes, opening itself to you. Ah, it has been so long since the living creature approached. The heat, the breath, such strange sensations. A talking book. You're fairly strange yourself. As you muse, you feel your fingers drawn to its pages. Not a book, but a grimoire. I am T'Challan. I am penned by a mortis. With ink of dwarven blood onto the skins of elven trees. It was I, the necromancers of Greyleaf, consulted for their grand designs. Ye. Yeah. Teach me how to free the undead. I intend to unite the undead under my banner and liberate them from Mortis. Surely you'd know how. A fool's errand, and yet you are no fool. You surely see there is no unity like that found in death, nor any greater liberation. I disagree. Mortis promises harmony, but leaves chaos in her wake. If it were possible for a book to show they are impressed by their reader, the grimoire would. Then you must know I can neither teach nor be studied, not in my current form. I am but one of four parts. Only when united can we be read. I see the tears along your spine. You've been desecrated somehow. The pain still rings in me. The three other tomes were torn from me, stolen and strewn. Until I am reunited, I am cursed to remain here. As enticement, take this. The proper ritual for the Song of Uncoloring. The maidens of the Whisperer will know what to do with it. The book sighs open to reveal a single page, which you fold and put in your pouch. I'll find the missing tomes before I decide what it is I'm going to do with you. I'll put you and these missing tomes together again. Huntress of tomes, I accept this pledge. For it, my mysteries and my fate are in your hands. Uh, I want to talk about the missing tomes. Wanting anything is fleeting and meaningless. Save the want for learning. Well, I found the Tome of Angels in the forests, 
I found a work named the Tome of Angels. It's written in the same glyphs all over Yillian. And the same glyphs etched upon your curious armour. Return it to me. You hesitantly place the tome near Tukchung, which leaps upon it as a spider leaps upon a meal. Don't get too excited yet. There are still two more before you'll be made whole. Uh, that's that's enough. We don't need to talk about them any further because I don't think we've found any more. The words are eternal pages are not. Do hurry, Huntress. So we can take the spell to the Banshees. Uh, we also need to head back to Yilin. We need to find the Tome of Abomination in Shurik. Oh, that's going to mean a trip back once we came. We haven't finished exploring this place either. Some gold. Always welcome. And they're going to be an easy fight, but I want to get people trained up. So let's head it out first and then we'll sort out the Banshees and then we'll come back in here afterwards. Right, Tillian. Uh Also, we have a skill point to put in. We've been putting in Betterson's Boon. We'll carry on with that. And we'll get everyone trained up. It's only money. Uh, in fact, let's gather resources while we're here. None to train up from there. Two to train up from here. Lesser Devil and our Infernal Golem. There goes our sorceress. I haven't actually had a look to see what there is here. Ooh, spectres. We could buy an initiate. I do very much like them. They don't have that much power. And in terms of equipment, I'm not that interested in those. And we have, we have rare equipment at the moment, so most of these are not going to be as good. We can upgrade this, actually. So now we could buy Arcane Flux. And in theory, Tier 2 Mercenaries. Let me just check. Do I need to? I need to upgrade blacksmith. Upgrade equipment to tier three. Oh, okay. So, in terms of merging shards, we can merge those. It's okay. It's it'll be better when it's a higher level. I don't think we've got any others that we can merge together. But upgrading the equipment. Blade of the Murderer. Tier 3. Uh, I want to know which one... Ori is using... Might be the old ceremonial sword. Let's check. So you're using the staff of the prior. Okay. Yeah, it is the old ceremonial sword. There must be something better for you by now. Maybe there isn't, actually.
Wait, is it? Swapped your weapon over incorrectly. We want the Blade of the Murderer because we just upgraded that for a reason. Okay, well, let's carry on upgrading our equipment. So at the moment, we're using the headband, which is intelligence and mana and primal resistance. That's well, quite an upgrade. These are all going to start getting very expensive. We've got resources for the moment. And the uh, common items are not that bad for upgrading. Uh, plate boots, that's the ones. Extra critical chance. Very welcome. Okay, who do we still need to do? We could do the Shadow Casters. And the War Priestess. Okay, War Priestess, that's an easy. Shadowcaster would need to fade something out and back in. It's the. There we go, the Stone Ring. All the training. Yeah, these are really quite weak actually, but they do have healing on them. So the ability is there and, and definitely worthwhile. Alright, you've got everything correctly selected. Let's check everyone's got a shard. You don't have a shard because we took it off to upgrade it. got a shard, you don't have a shard, we can give you that to improve your critical chance slightly. You don't have a shard, we can give you extra physical resistance, that's going to be worthwhile. Okay, I think we're all good. Oh, we've got still got Priestess and the zombie on the back. Yeah, we really should deal with the... Hang on. How did you end up injured? How bizarre. So we'll phase you out and we'll phase in... temple. Why, why can we not train you? We should be able to train you. have to upgrade the requires new standing friendly with the empire okay so we can't you'll just have to gain experience at the old old-fashioned way okay well, let's phase it out and instead we'll phase in where is our zombie there we go graveyard because at least we can train these guys for very little resources put our old building back. Okay, what's it going to take to get to level 3? Lots and lots of metal. 
which we're getting at a reasonable pace, but not amazingly. Um, yeah, and more in our campaign. Let's head back. We've done, we've done pretty good in terms of upgrading stuff. There's just a few things that haven't been upgraded, notably the priestess, who is like three XP away from the next level. So that's not really going to be a problem. And the uh, scout who we're not using. Back we go. And back in. So there was another combat round here that was guarding a chest. Rusted weapons, eh? Well, we can do our own magic. Let's uh, let's get flaming weapons. Face your death. We'll wait for them to come a bit closer. If indeed they're going to do that. No, they are... Ah, oh, one of them is. That's fine. Youch. Painful. I'll sneak past them. Feel the snake's bite. Yeah, let's uh let's go for the flank. Flank heal wallop combination. Paralyzing might not have been the best plan, because he's probably gonna die quickly. Let's get to there. Just close enough for him to attack, but not close enough for the other one. Didn't quite get him. I wonder, yeah, he should die to poison before he gets a chance to do anything next time. So let's... The Let's nuke you. <laughs> and you can't quite reach. Perfect. Well, I very much like that. Paralysis puts him burning. It's a great combination. And if we step up here, Moving. it would actually minimise the amount that they can do there. Feel my blades bite. Did not die. Uh, he will die. I'll sneak past. Him. So let's just move on. Chain lightning. Nice burning hit. Do we kill him or do we leave him? Let's kill him. We'll get the poison on someone else. Let's 
And we're gonna hit both of these guys. Big divine hit. Yeah, Ori's had worse. That's fine. It doesn't doesn't bother him. You're just out of range, so we'll focus over here. That was a lot of damage he took. Yeah, that was a lot of damage we took. Okay, Ori. You got this. Bite. You just, uh, you know, take care of it yourself. Feel my blade's bite. If I step in here, we could get like a chain heal on everyone. Move out. Your turn. <laughs> He's burning, so if we detonate him, it will deal primal damage to the other guy. <laughs> Big damage. Look at that. Step in. Yeah, we need we need some uh, some healing up here. So let's take care of that. Perfect. Nearly done. Ori, I don't think you can quite make it, but you now can you see me? You can add to the flank. Now you see me. Yep, now we see you. Uh let's cast Blazing Rays. Just for a bit of variety. And finish him off with the infernal demon. So that's pushed our priestess up to level 16, which is exactly what we wanted. And gave us a little bit of money to boot. Chain leggings from that chest. And I think that's that's all we're gonna find down here. I wonder if the other chest then is going to be past like a corruption growth or something in, in Hurik. I don't think we can do anything with the cave wall behind. No. Okay, let's head back out and we'll take this spell to the Banshees. Take care of that on collaring. They were somewhere around here, I think. There they are. Hi, ladies. You return paper in hand to the singing Banshee sisters. You give them a wry smile. Delivery. Sisterna and Sustana search the pages for clues, when suddenly one sister lets out a screech, though you know not which. It's here. The Song of Uncollaring restores what was taken. The voice. But it must be fed a sacrifice. A woman's voice. A voice. Um. Uh. What happens to the woman? We take the woman's voice. Will she survive? It says nothing of the woman, only the voice. Sure, we'll find you a sacrifice. Sacrificing a voice doesn't sound that horrific. Before you can continue, Corisandra takes you aside. 
I can sense the High Father's guiding hand. He has brought me here to offer my voice to save this creature. Choose me for the ritual. Oh! You'd help a banshee? I'm a disciple of the High Father, and my devotion is to all of his creatures, even those my people call abominations. Who? Corisandra will be the sacrifice. I hope we don't lose her, but if we do, we'll just work with it. It's the path of the priestess to sacrifice herself for the betterness of others. In that tradition, Corisandra has bravely volunteered. Corisandra steps bravely forwards into a circle drawn hastily on the ground. As the song begins, the priestess and Banshee's lips move closer. Their arms wrap around one another's and they kiss and levitate from the ground into the air. When the song is sung, the body of the Banshee drops limply to the ground, dead. Corisandra descends slowly, a sinister look in her eye. Corisandra? Help me, Abby. Tachulkin was written by Mortis. Mortis lies. Voice is the soul, and the souls are here now. In this, that is the way to dispel the curse. Must fight, Sintaria. Must suppress their putrid priestess. Win this body for yourself. Uh, no. Abby, the pain. Kill me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I suppose we could have actually um, swapped over and put someone else on our team in preparation for this. But this is fine, he says, when it's obviously not fine. Uh, we need to take Corisandra out quickly. What's she immune to? She's immune to being cursed. All right. Sneak past them. Feel my blade bite. I'm sorry, girl, but that's the way it is. Uh, let's move out. Let's get rampant growth on these two. You're done. Big hit. Corisandra will die to the infernal demon. And that's all we needed to do. Not happy. I wouldn't have minded if we just like lost her to the plot, but Corisandra collapses to the ground. You take her in your arms. She's breathing, much to your relief. What happened? Uh, the Tuchulkin lied. It's clearly a product of Mortis's twisted mind. Even when it's helping, it ends in chaos. Luckily, it failed. Corisandra winces in pain as you help her to her feet. For what it's worth, I did want to help those creatures. I'm certain of it, Corisandra. Hey! So, we've got some new items and a new spell blueprint available. So this is a bit pants. We're not going to use that. The new chain leggings. I think I prefer strength and dexterity. And the new shard is an unholy damage one, which we could end up combining. Uh, we'll head back and we'll research our spell very quickly. Just Twilight Rift. Shift surrounding allies between the pages of the living and the dead grants incorporeal and evasive. That's, that's pretty nice. All right, well, with that, I'm afraid we're unfortunately out of time for today. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Disciples Liberation. See you soon.